Hi, this is End of the Month Tree doing the intro outro. Uh, because once again, we have reached the point in the month where it's almost over and I have not edited, edited any of my videos. I have two, maybe three videos sitting in my, in my, uh, what is that called? File folder, desktop thing, Toto list. Um, but yeah, and I haven't done it. And this is a habit, a trend, a thing I've always contended with. And I think I just need to accept the fact that I am not a every week vlogging kind of person. I just. I, I don't do that much stuff that's exciting and interesting, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe tell me what y'all think is interesting. So I have a better idea of, like, what y'all like that I do. Um, but I also have to remind myself that uh, I produce new content almost daily on all my whole other sock meds. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of, like, the same thing cross-posted, but it's still, like, every day, almost. And even when I don't, I do an art break post so that people know. But, yeah, it's, like, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Elo, TikTok... Is there anybody in there I'm missing? My Kofi, my Patreon. I that's a lot of work I'm doing. So maybe I need to be okay with the fact that I'm not good at producing lots and lots of vlogs. I mean, I want to be the person who just vlogs all the time. I also want to be the person who Twitch streams a lot of the time too. And I haven't have yet to figure out um a good schedule of how to do that for me. So, I don't know. So, or what to do on a Twitch stream, because it's like, yes, I could draw, and yes, I can play Stardew Valley or something. <sighs> All right. Intro tree is done, done, is done complaining and having a thing about the universe. So we're going to put in vlog footage here and I'll be back in the outro to do some talking. Why is this any different? <laughs> because the ship is floating. <clears throat> Do you want to sink the ship? No, 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 you, uh, my, my logic's fine. Hello to my aggressively bad lighting. I don't know if that will help. Now I'm just red lit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to complain at my camera because I'm trying to get better at remembering to, like, talk to you more than I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. I'm trying to redesign my business cards right now, and I hate everything I'm coming up with. So, that's fun. <sighs> I mean, I love him, but like... <laughs> is it scary? This little party hat was made by Rania. Hi, it's me, Tree. Um, random things in my brain right now. I am preparing to DM a Curse of Straw campaign for my D&D group. I have never DM'd before. Um, and I have many concerns. It, to begin with, the Vistani, it's like, I know that um, Wizards of the Coast has, like, done some editing so the Vistani are are much less a stereotype 
of the Romani, but I still have concerns. Uh, plus, I don't have the newest edition. I have an older edition, so I don't have those corrections. So I'm doing some editing for myself. Also, the entire, you know, people who have no souls in Barovia, it... No. No, no, no. We're not doing that. No. So that is the thing I have I have to do some editing on, too. I do have a session zero planned to get my flares into Barovia. So there's that. And I've done the preliminary like skimming to figure out what each of the chapters are about and to get kind of like the general, very, very general uh, overview of the socio sociopolitical climate of Barovia. Um, which, boy, howdy. There is a lot there. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going into the in-depth reading, which is just like, oh my god, I'm never going to remember all of this. Which is an absurd concern, because no DM remembers everything. The only reason Mercer looks like he remembers everything is because he's been DMing for 20 years. He's had a lot of practice. Um... And I have not been DMing 20 years. I have been playing D&D on and off since I was five, so that's... Okay. God, I have to think about this. That's 37 years. But there's been, you know, five editions and so a lot of downtime and... Yeah. And Strahd is very much its... A, a, a singular kind of experience. I also have the Van Richten's Guide to Dread, Dread Domains or whatever it's called to, to um, do a little fleshing out since Barovia is a Dread Domain. Um, and because of how the game is initial, uh, Strahd is essentially like situated I did buy the Troc deck, which is pretty. I mean, I didn't have to. It was in the back of the book. But I thought this would be um, more efficient for me. You know, DMing, role-playing. Also, pretty art. I like it. Um, so, yeah, those are my concerns about... <laughs> DMing. Okay, those are not all of my concerns. Those are several of my concerns. I am very freaked out about doing this. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I also have no map, which I know you don't need maps and minis and yada yada. I have none of those things. Technically, I have some minis, but they're like Mighty Nine minis. Um, and the mini that exists for my my character in our primary campaign lives with our DM. So, I mean, my DM has stuff I could borrow it from them, but I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about doing yet or not. And of course, I can't talk about any of this with any of them because... Surprise! Though I think the... the Vistani and the Soulless thing are, are, if they know me, remotely know anything about the, Str the Strahd um, module, are going to know I'm going to change those things. So, yes. And play around with the hacks. Because I think the hacks are very interesting and should have a, a bit more centrally thing. Centrally thing? Okay. Yes, I am chewing gum. I have recently discovered that chewing gum takes some of the stress out of my jaw and reduces some of my anxiety. And it's one of those things like, oh my god, this is why I chewed gum my entire childhood. Because I was a tiny anxious squid. The things we get upon self-reflection. 
Okay. I have things to do. I, I did an Art Snacks demo. The second half of the unboxing. Been doing some drawing. And some moving of things around. I'm always moving things around. It's very annoying. And then I can't find things. And I wonder why. I'm just having the best time. Rubbing your face. Playing the box. So I ordered one of those build your own palettes that Art Snacks was doing. They came in the post today. So um oh as my brain just loses the name of the paint is a water Japanese watercolor that I really like. Shipping receipt. Cool. Um, and they included a snack because there are snacks at Smarties, which are going to go to Gnome because I don't like Smarties. Um, so it is a Jinsei Tambi watercolor. It's Kurataki. When in doubt, it's probably Kurataki. Um, I have like a larger set of them, but there are colors that I use more than others because I am that person, like Rose Matters. So this was a good way of um, replacing a couple of those colors I use a lot while getting other colors that aren't in my palette of that I bought. But there's also this um, very nice... Uh, Art Snacks washi tape. Huh. There's supposed to be a. Maybe it's inside. Before I get all worked up. Uh, the sticker is bright and holographic. Bright, big and holographic. And this is the cute little box that comes in. Ah, yes. They're inside. I was like, there are other things that were supposed to come with this besides the paint. They're inside the box. So, here is inside the box. Um, so, it comes with a little portable water pen with a good, good nib on it. It is, again, I want to say... Do, 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 do. Probably also, probably also the same brand or same company as does these. So, I like water brushes. What can I say? And I like that this one is small and fits in the box. And also came with a Mangaka Exivil. Exivil? Um brush, or not brush, pen is also Kurataki. Like I said, everything is freaking Kurataki, I swear to God. And it is water-based, so it probably will bleed. Um, oh, they have, like, little covers on them. Alrighty. Oh, there's, like, in sleeves. But yeah, I have no idea what that color is. Let's look at the shipping manifest. You would think I would have no sense to look at the, the shipping manifest. So that's probably the rose beige. There's an imperial violet, a turquoise blue, Indigo, Cadmium, and Matter Deep. So, those are what I got. I'm very excited. 
Um, give me a second to unsleeve these, and I will give you like a over top visual. Just a moment. And here is the the overview of the thing. Um, I'm gonna have to do like a swatching, but yeah. Um, that's the turquoise. That's the orange, cadmium, rose matter, rosy beige, and what are the other two. That. That, I'm guessing, is the indigo, and that is the imperial purple. But yeah, it's just the nicest, daintiest little, like, box set in the history of ever. And has this lovely paper box that is it, because Japanese. Alright, I will include a swatching at some point. So, okay, I did the swatch, and the Imperial Violet is a lot. But the Rosy Beige is very pretty, and the Rose Matter and Turquoise are exactly what I expected, because I already have them. Cadmium, the Cadmium Orange is a lovely kind of orange juice color. Um, and the Indigo is a lovely Indigo. I love Pressure Blue, and the Indigo is very similar to that um so yeah there we go isn't it lovely cute okay everyone i think this is gonna be the end of the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you spending this time with me and hanging out i've been watching my old videos um not in like a conceited way, but in a oh my god, did I make any mistakes way. And something I notice I do is I go like this a lot. I'll be like, like it's really unnecessary. I didn't realize I talk with my hands so much, but I guess I do. Like when I'm trying to like emphasize a point, I'm really like, um, yeah. Thanks. Hi, it's me. The sheer level of nonsense that has been going on. We were trying to change the casters out on my desk yesterday because locking casters are the literal devil. And I had two of them that like to fall down constantly. So we thought, oh, well, we'll just like change them out. It'll be fine. No, it was not fine because in changing them, the internal soldering, like inside the frame of the thing that was holding a nut in place that the thing screwed into, broke. Broke egregiously and could not get at it in any way because it was like connected to the thing that like the the rubber plug that like keeps the frame from being like a tunnel rather than a solid piece i don't know how to describe it so i'm currently using an old desk that gnome had been using until my new desk comes and it is a wobbly bitch. Look at that. That was a bare touch. That is a wobbly bitch. So, I am very grumpy. I am very cranky. And for some reason, decided to torment, torment myself and try and organize things when I don't have the correct desk to organize things correctly. I don't know if you can tell my hair is... I've been dyeing my hair purple again. Um, so yeah, it's been fun. Okay, I'm going to go and rail at the wobbly bitch desk for a while. Um, and I really need to edit this vlog. It's getting excessive. It's almost the end of the month again, and I have vlog footage, and I have a nerd snacks unboxing that I have not edited. It's like being a cat going cat, 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 cat. So I need to do that. 
it probably doesn't help that I have to go see the vampires on Monday to see if I get to continue to not take the egregiously scary amount of vitamin D I've been taking for the last, like, two years. So. Things. Things to do. I also need to talk to my general practitioner about, um, maybe formally getting diagnosed for ADHD because it might explain, like, 90% of what's wrong with me. Also, potentially ASD. Because that would explain the other 90% of what's wrong with me. Yes, I know that's 180%. I am extra. I'm very extra. <sighs> but, like, even... It's like my entire life, my pulse has been a little ticky high. That could be the ADHD. Noma's cooking in the kitchen, if you can hear that. It smells good. Okay, and Noma's been fighting with the identity crisis room back there, so... It's looking good. It's looking better. It's looking functional, and that's all we care about in this house is if it functions for you. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to function. <sighs> okay. You're here again. Visiting vampires. <laughs> so back from the vampires, it took two vampires, three tries. So not the worst I've ever experienced with the vampires, not the best. Not the vampire's fault. My veins suck. Okay, outro treat. I have I do not remember what's in any of that other than possibly the build your own palette with art snacks. I think I'm putting that in the vlog just because I don't want to make it its own separate video. And then I went and saw the vampires this week. Those are the only two things that I am certain are in this vlog. Alright, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, uh, perhaps follow my other sock meds. Um, I am Tentful Made Studios or Tentful Made everywhere that matters, except here on YouTube. Ironically, I'm just Trees Wood because YouTube won't let me change my name. And if you like the kind of art I make, um, perhaps consider uh, purchasing my art. I have a red bubble that has a bunch of stuff on there. I need to do some more updating and of course I always do. Um, and I also have my shop open. There's um uh the 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 physical illustrations from my mermaid this year and stickers. So that's at tentaclematestudios.com. Uh my red bubble is tentaclemate. And there's the post. Um, and if you want to, like, maybe more long-term or even just, like, financially support me, I have a Patreon and I have a Ko-fi. I have Tentacle Made Studios on both those things. But y'all do you. Do what makes you happy. Even just, you know, looking at my art is cool. Um, and whatever you choose to do, you do, because you do you. Please know that the world is better for having you in it. So do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.
beans 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 beans